sitting next to me here, we have the new Asus Transformer Book Trio. It's an unusual beast in that it's both laptop and an Android tablet. It'll be released in November this year, but pricing is unclear as yet. Expect it to be at the expensive range though, maybe even around a thousand pounds. So the really unusual thing about this is that you can detach the screen and take this away as an Android tablet. But in addition to that, you're left with this base, which another user can use as a Windows 8 laptop. You just need to plug it into another screen. So the next thing to mention is obviously they both have separate batteries. If you're using it as an Android device, you'll probably get around 13 hours of battery life. And if you're using it as Windows 8, slightly less, you get around five hours of battery life. We've yet to test that in our lab, but if those claims are really true, it's better than the Samsung Active Q, its main rival. So it's certainly interestingly designed in terms of functionality. But the outward design, I'm not so convinced. Um, the tablet is 700 grams, that's quite heavy for a standalone tablet. And then when we add it to the base, it becomes a very hefty 1.7 kilograms. Asus described this as a new breed, and it's certainly an intriguing concept. It is useful to combine the Windows functionality and the Android wide range of apps available but I'm not quite sure who it's aimed at and I'm not quite convinced that it's worth paying nearly a thousand pounds to have these two things combined together. I'm also not quite convinced on the design as yet. As I said, it's a bit heavy and quite chunky. For more on the Asus Transformer Book Trio, the Asus Foam Pad Note 6 and the Samsung Active Q, click on the links below.